Welcome back. So I'm um, just going to do a quick coding uh, session. Um, this one is going to be for um, adding the dash pod. So your uh, rev counter and clock if you haven't already got it. Now, um, with mine, I, I did find that um, with the car, it didn't self-populate um, in the second uh, folder there. So usually, as always, you'd click in, click scan, then select the can option wait and then the second uh, box here um, it would all populate all the different ECUs now um, a mine didn't find it um, the one that you need is tabla de board um, and what I do I put a little screenshot up just to show you what it will uh, or should look like um, so what I had to do is find it uh, manually or do it manually through here so what you need to do oh, go a bit far is scroll through here the ECU name um tabla de board is shortened to tdb so you open that and what you need is cluster i think it's x07 and then basically i've gone for the the newest version for me which is version 12 so um usually it will say tabla de board or tdb cluster x07 uh, version uh, and then whatever the biggest version is you've got in the second box now obviously i said i had to self-populate mine um but um, either way, uh, it still works. So once you click on that, um, what you get, third screen, you get Ekron configuration, expand that, go down to vehicle com or config vehicle. And then basically in the main screen, uh, you'll see uh, you've got all these lists. So what you need to do um, is scroll down and um, go to where it says here, additional instrument present it will say without instrument uh, and then all you're going to do is click that to 1b with additional instrument hit come up hit einstein expert mode and then once you've done that hit the right screen here where it says add instrument so you're going to click that i well, know i don't know why i click that because i can't do it anyway but you're going to add add instrument and then once you've done that scroll down and click this right box here which basically then uploads it uh, to the ECU so then you click that one and then basically that will then add your um, pod to your car now what you should see is uh, the dash will restart uh, your new pod will come into life it'll go through like a sweeping motion um, and then it should be running uh, perfectly um, if it doesn't, um, what you need to do is just disconnect the uh, battery on the car for 10 minutes, plug it back in, and then that should uh, resolve that issue, and that will be that. Um, obviously, it's a very quick video. Um, as always, any questions, any comments, put them in the comments section, or I will leave an email in the um, details section. Um, just give me a shout, and I'll uh, help you as best I can. If there's any other videos that you do want, um, any sort of coding that you need, um, from any of the new LED lights or anything like that at all, um, give me a message and I'll, I'll do that video for you. Um, but as always, please like, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got loads coming up. I've got the ambient lighting um, for the smart, which is in the process. I'll finish that off today. Um, well, part one anyway, which is the dash and the centre console. And I'm just working on the doors. Um, so that's coming up soon. I've got a full uh, Brabus rear end conversion, including an exhaust, uh, going on the car, as well as a Brabus front end conversion as well uh, with the new splitter that I'm going to then powder coat or spray uh, gloss black to match the rest of the car. So I've got quite a bit coming up. So please like, please subscribe, and I will uh, see you in the next one.